Maybe after watching one of our other videos, you thought to yourself, man, I could never do all that. And I understand that feeling, that feeling that you know you'll never be able to do as much as somebody else, so what's the point of even trying? But that's not how I want you to feel after watching one of our videos. I want you to feel inspired. I want you to be encouraged to go out there and pursue your homestead dream. It might look like we're getting so much done because in some of those videos, there's a week or more's worth of work condensed into 15 minutes. But then what does an actual single day look like for us? Well, you're about to find out. I may or may not hit the snooze button once or twice, but my alarm goes off at 5.15 and I'm up and I have a little time for some personal time and to get ready for the day. And then at least five days out of the week, I'm either running or working out. And this morning, it's a run. The way we figured out that it works for us is I gotta get up a little while before Michelle does. So we'll get to her part in just a bit. It is a perfect morning for a run. It's nice and cool. I'm just gonna do a short run this morning. I did like nine miles on Saturday and my knees got pretty sore after that, so I'm taking it a little easy, but still want to get a short run in, so here we go. Everybody else is still asleep. I need to get out and get my chores done, but first, I gotta make my chocolate milk. This is my protein packed chocolate milk that I like to drink after a workout or a run and actually just drink it every morning for breakfast. It's got really basic ingredients, raw milk, raw eggs, got some collagen, some gelatin. But if you do actually want a recipe to follow, I'll drop a link for a recipe card in the description below. And so good. Milking a cow does get to a point where it is somewhat just a chore to do in the morning. I'm often in a rush to get to work on time, and so it can be a little stressful, but I am really glad that it's a part of my morning routine, and I do really enjoy it. But before I can actually get started milking, I do need to move the broiler chickens and open up the chicken coop for the layers. Izzy will actually come out here and feed the chickens a little later, but he doesn't wake up as early as I do, and I like to let these layer chickens out here before he comes out here, so they're not just sitting in there for an hour or two after it starts getting daylight. We have lost one chicken this year so far, and I'm pretty sure it was a hawk, but only one. Last year we lost closer to like 10 or so. There's Maddie, just waiting for us to get in there and get milking. Morning, girl. While Cody is out milking, I start my day by making his breakfast and packing his lunch. I'm not a morning person. I don't talk for at least an hour after I wake up, so I'm doing a voiceover here. He likes to have one scrambled egg to go along with his protein chocolate milk. His lunch usually consists of just leftovers from the evening before, a pint of milk, and a homemade granola bar. For the record, this isn't something that Cody asked me to do. This is an agreement that we've made because I really just don't enjoy the animal chores. I love having animals on our farm, but taking care of them is just not my first love. I am the garden girl. I'm intentional about eating within an hour of waking to get my metabolism up and running. Since I don't love to eat a big breakfast first thing, I make myself a London Fog with collagen, raw honey, and fresh cream. She's not giving near as much milk right now. It's right around a gallon and a half, so I'm only milking into this one bucket. I've got those stainless steel ice cubes in there, so it's cooling right away. Since I do have to get to work on time every day, I try to keep my morning chores as simple as possible. It's just milking the cow, moving those broiler chickens, which that's only part of the year, and then opening up the layer chicken coop. And actually, I do want to get an automatic door for that so I don't even have to do that. Then Izzy feeds the chickens, and that really helps me out. I don't have him do it just so that it makes my chores go faster, but also I want him to learn responsibility. It's a way that he can make a little money, so that works out great for both of us, I think. See you later, Maddie. Once the milking's done, it's off to work for me, and Michelle's in charge of the homestead for the day. Now 
now that I'm on my way to work, you'll get to see what Michelle's day is like. But before we go over to that, I just wanted to say real quick, my chores used to take me like an hour and a half every morning. So if you're in that beginning stage of figuring things out and it's really hard, takes you a long time and stuff, just know that it will get better, it will get easier, you'll figure things out. I also strain the milk and get it into the freezer to chill. I get some morning sunlight in my eyes and then sit down for some quiet time. Cody leaves the house at 7, which gives me an hour to myself before the kids get up at 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock now. My quiet time is over. The kids got up. They are outside doing their chores, and so this is the time where I grab about an hour or half an hour or something. This is when I post reels to Instagram or make posts, just plan things. I also will outline some of our videos, write down ideas, and get a feel for the videos that we're gonna do before we actually do them. With four children, shooting a video can be a little bit hectic sometimes, and so it's really nice to have it outlined. Make sure that we have all the stuff we need for the video and everything like that. It's breakfast time now, and I'm making myself a hamburger and some fresh zucchini. This has kind of been my favorite breakfast lately. I know it might seem crazy to eat a hamburger, but I struggle with a low appetite, and I have noticed that if I eat a nice, protein-rich breakfast in the morning, I have an appetite throughout the day, and I feel so much better and have more energy. The kids are eating oatmeal this morning with honey and raw milk. That's their favorite breakfast. After I finish breakfast, I'm gonna run out and work in the garden. I love to work outside in the mornings when it's nice and cool. That's when I do my spraying, often my harvesting, and maybe some weeding here and there. I always drink apple juice with coconut water in the morning with my hamburger and recently I started using this product as well. It's an apple cider vinegar, honey, and a ginger lemongrass mixture and I'm absolutely loving it so far. It's really supposed to help with digestion. My naturopath told me I should be drinking apple cider vinegar and I hate apple cider vinegar, but this is actually very delicious. I'll leave a coupon code in the description box if you guys are interested in trying this as well. And as you can see, the kids decided to build a fort and eat their breakfast under their tables, so... Kids emerging from under the table. <laughs> Mommy. I like to come out to the garden in the morning when it's not hot yet to get my garden work done. This is when I do all my harvesting. This morning I am picking some green beans. I've kind of let these things go because I got bushels and bushels and bushels of green beans this year and we just don't need more. But I just wanted a couple meals and so I decided to quickly harvest some this morning. So I get the idea sometimes that people think I must just be in my garden 24 seven during the summer, but I really am not. Because of all of our mulch, there's almost no weeding to do, honestly, and these raised beds have taken a huge amount of the work out of gardening as well. And so I come out in the mornings, I do a little bit of harvesting here and there, and in the evenings I'll do some light weeding here and there, but anybody who knows me well knows that I really hate being hot, I really hate the heat. And so during the day, I'm mostly inside preserving things, keeping up my house, things like that. The times where I spend lots of time in my garden, like all day out here, is in the spring when we're planting. Spring is also when seedlings are tiny and they will really be affected by weeds. But once the plants are bigger, the weeds don't bother them quite as much. If you'll remember in our last video, we planted some carrots in here. I check these every day because as soon as they start to germinate, you want to lift the boards off, obviously. We're just starting to get peppers. These are Marconi peppers. Nice. We had a storm last night that broke off 
some of my basil bush. I like to snap all the flowers off so that it keeps getting bushy. These cherry tomato plants are literally going insane. I don't know if I've ever seen this amount of fruit. I mean, like, just look at this fruit down here. It's just like... In about a week, we're gonna have so many of these that we're not even gonna know what to do with ourselves. People will look at me sometimes and wonder how I get it all done. But the thing is, is I don't get it all done. I just don't do a lot of the things that other moms do. I stay home a lot of the time. That's just a decision that we've made in this stage of our life with young kids and homeschooling and homesteading and trying to get our YouTube channel off the ground. We have chosen in this season just to stay at home and focus on the things that we have going on here. And eventually, I really feel like we'll be more free to do more things. I do take my kids to the library. I take them to the beach and the park sometimes but the vast majority of my time is spent here at home at this stage in our life. We do prioritize church and friendships and things like that. And on weekends, we do lots of adventures off the homestead. I don't wanna make it sound like all I do ever is stay here at home. All that I'm saying is on weekdays, we mostly stay home and get our work done. This is how my porch is looking right now. Kind of stuff everywhere, but it's a good thing potatoes again last night. We have some garlic down here. Curing. Also lots of onions curing. This kitchen is a mess. I'm going to clean it up. We just finished lunch. I just quick heated up some leftovers. That's pretty much what I do every day. Around one o'clock, we all take a break. I just sit down here on the couch. I watch a YouTube video, read a book, or sleep often. The children go to their separate rooms and read a book. Some of them read outside, some of them upstairs in bed, and my baby sleeps. I just found that it really helps for us to have some space from each other. It makes so that the attitudes in the evening are much better and I feel like it just helps to ground us and regulate our emotions a little bit because we're together a lot. I wanted to do this video so that you guys could see that I'm not one of those people that gets up at the crack of dawn and works hard the entire day. I've actually been there. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to be haggard and tired all the time. Um, I have suffered from adrenal fatigue in the past and I am now thankfully well on the way to healing for that. We chose this slow lifestyle because we really like how restful it is, but it can also become crazy if it's not managed correctly. After we've all had our breaks in the afternoon, I like to get my house cleaned up and wrap up anything that I started in the morning. This is the time of day when I bake bread, finish up some canning, or fold laundry. If I was to share one thing that has helped me the most was staying on top of things around the house and just freeing up time for me to work outside, it would be minimalism. And I know there's many different kinds of minimalism. I'm not like a strict minimalist, but about three years ago, when I had our fourth baby, I realized that our house was way too tiny for all the stuff that we had. I was like, like constantly reorganizing everything because I can't stand clutter. So I got rid of at least a third of our stuff. Cody thought I was crazy at the time, but now he's very much on board. At the beginning of every season, I get myself and each child neutral colored jeans that can be worn with like every shirt in our wardrobe. No more sending kids back upstairs because their outfits don't match. I keep our wardrobes as minimal as possible and the kids clothes don't get stored from season to season. I keep things very minimal in my kitchen too. No non-essential gadgets. I don't buy cleaning products. I only use baking soda, dish soap, and vinegar for my entire house. For seasonal decor, I use natural elements like pumpkins, pine cones, and pine needles. Most of the decor in my house is just plants, honestly. They clean the air and they look dreamy. For makeup and hygiene, I believe in buying quality non-toxic products. And as you all know, quality can be pretty expensive, but since we're so minimal, with all of our beauty care products, we're able to prioritize quality. The kids get up around three o'clock and we all do some chores. Soon after that, Cody comes home from work. My evenings are spent working on homestead projects and working on our online business. At this point, my evenings are mostly full of work. We're hoping that someday our online business will be enough so that I can work from home during the 
day and we'll get our evenings back to spend some more time having fun as a family. This is going to be a typical evening, but we have something interesting that we do have to do later. My cows are up in our front pasture right now and when I'm driving in the lane is usually when I notice that they need to be moved to another paddock and they do need to be moved so I'm going to go do that real quick before I do anything else. Hey girls. Every paddock up here is connected to a common area here where they can get to the barn and get to their water in one spot. And so all I got to do to move them to a fresh paddock is just close the one gate that they were in and open the other one. What are you planning on doing this evening? So I'm going to make supper and Good. then I'm hoping to go on a walk and pick raspberries. Okay, if I have time, I might help you pick raspberries. So I probably won't have time. <laughs> so I have to get a ton of editing done so I can get a video out for you guys. Later this evening, I need to take our broiler chickens up about an hour away to get butchered tomorrow. They got to be taken there this evening and then they'll be there overnight. So I think I'm going to get the trailer all hooked up and everything ready. I'm not going to actually load them in the crates yet because I don't want, to just, want them to have to sit in the crates longer than they have to. But uh, I'll get the trailer hooked up and everything, everything ready to go. I think I'll come back and edit, eat supper, and then later this evening I'll be driving up there. So I want to put a tarp in there. We use this trailer for camping, which we're going to do soon. I don't want it all nasty and stinky in there. So I'm going to go grab a tarp, put that down, get the crates out, and then we should be all ready to load up right before we're ready to go. We're getting 60 broilers processed this year. It'll, it'll probably keep 50, 55 for us, and then sell a few to some friends that might want some chicken. Now I'll go get the crates, and I want to get the coolers ready. We have to leave the coolers there with ice in it overnight, so then tomorrow, once they're processed, we'll stick them in the coolers. Coolers are a pain to store, but it's something we had to have a lot of when we were doing farmer's market. And now it's super nice to have plenty of nice big ones when we get beef, when we get chicken. All right, now I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna try to edit a little bit and then have a quick supper. Then we're gonna have to get going. And I'll probably have to edit again when I get back home tonight. At this point where I edit these videos is in our closet. That's my office and it's not ideal, but it works and you just gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Sometimes when I take a step back, it seems crazy to me that I have a full-time job, a YouTube channel, and run a homestead. To be clear though, to make it happen, not everything gets done around here that maybe should, but we're making it happen because we're chasing our dream. We're willing to sacrifice for a season, but I wonder to myself, how do we actually do it? I know one thing for sure, I have an amazing wife and she does a ton of work and we have learned very well, I think, to work together to get things done. Um, the other thing is, is that things have just gotten more and more efficient. We've figured out what works and what doesn't in a lot of ways. We haven't figured everything out. I'm not saying that at all, but we figured a lot of things out that works for us. I just wanna say that to say that this is something that you can do. If it's what you want to do, if what if it's what you're ready to prioritize to do, you can do it. It is supper time now, and I'm quickly trying to get supper in the oven because Cody has to leave in about an hour to deliver the chickens. Tonight we're having meatloaf, we're having some roasted potatoes, and then like a cucumber and tomato salad. Here's some of my homemade smoky barbecue sauce. I'm going to put it on top of this meatloaf. This recipe will be coming out in one of our videos very soon, so stay tuned for that. I pulled my veggies out of the fridge and they're already cut. This is something I've started doing every single Monday. I just make a very simple meal plan and I saw all the meat and chop all the vegetables and then it makes evening meals during the week so simple. As you can see here, I'm chopping a fresh veggie salad. Meal prep looks a little bit different in the summer months when I bring in fresh veggies from the garden every day. The main portion of the meal was already prepped and I didn't have to stop and figure out what to make. For some reason in this next part, our mics weren't working. I have no idea what happened, but I do want to tell you about the broiler chickens that we raised because we really like them and I'll do that in just a second. I do my best to do some strength exercises or go on a walk at least three or four evenings out of a week. It doesn't always happen in the summertime when I'm busy canning and gardening, but I feel so much better when I make it happen. These are rainbow ranger chickens and they're just like red rangers or freedom rangers. It's just gonna depend on where you get them from. We get ours from Meyer Hatchery and we really like them. The biggest reason that I like them is because they do really well on pasture. They actually forage. They go around eating grass, eating bugs. Those white birds, when you get those, after a while they just plop themselves down by the feeder and they'll just eat grain all day long. So 
So much, in fact, that they get so fat that they have leg problems, they get heart attacks, and you gotta keep them on and off their feed. With Rainbow Rangers, you don't have to worry about that. You can have them on feed 24-7. They won't overeat. And they're just really hardy birds, and I think it's easier for people to grow them than others. Now, they do take a little bit longer to raise. I raised these to 11 weeks, but at 11 weeks, they dressed out at 5.5 pounds average per bird, which is a really nice bird. And to me, it's worth it. I also feel like they have a higher quality meat. It is just really delicious. See you later. We got a lot later start than I had hoped, so we're gonna get home kinda late tonight. I've got the three oldest children with me to give Michelle a little bit of a break. She got to go on her walk and she'll probably pick some raspberries. We're gonna get these chickens dropped off and then we'll have to go back and pick them up again tomorrow once we're all done. I'm back from our walk and Cody is gone, so I am going to pick raspberries now. Not sure if you can see this here, but some of these raspberries are taller than I am. I had wanted to get back and get some more editing done. I would have loved to have some time to hang out with the kids. And then after they go to bed at 9 o'clock, often Michelle and I try to sit down and watch a show together. But we didn't get back till after 10 o'clock, so it was bedtime for all of us. And sometimes, no matter how great our intentions, that's just the way it goes. And thankfully, we're given a fresh start every morning. Because we're more than farmers.